Producing clothes at such a low price has a very high environmental cost. Textiles are the second most polluting industry in the world, after oil. Per one part, one ton of fabric, as we call it, 200 tons of water are polluted. So one to 200 is the ratio. The more commerce there is, the more pollution there's going to be without efficient filtration and cleanup technology. If the fashion industry is going to expand by an additional 60% in the next 10 years, then we're going to get 60% more pollution. Under the pressure of public opinion, the textile industry is trying to rebrand. In trade shows, the color of choice for marketing is green. Organic, responsible, recyclable, the guise of green fashion. A certain fabric encapsulates this shift, viscose. Many fast fashion brands are using this cheap artificial silk. This red dress from ASOS and the snake pattern sheath dress from Boohoo are made of 95% viscose. So this is the wood. From here you make the pulp and from there you make fiber. So that's viscose, the cellulosic fiber. And from here it became yarn, from yarn to fabric. The process it takes from where you source the wood, the kind of certifications you fall into, all that put together helps you a nature-based product, yeah. So this course is more eco-friendly. Viscose is manufactured by a handful of companies around the world. Among them is the Birla Group a $40 billion Indian conglomerate. Inditex, H&M, ASOS, the biggest names in Viscos are buying from Birla. We believe that the planet comes first. Our philosophy of forest to fashion. Viscos, according to Birla, is a blessing. Because we believe that what's good for the planet is what's good for us. However, in order to transform wood into fabric, many chemicals are needed. One of the most dangerous is a highly toxic solvent, carbon disulfide, CS2. Then the addition of a liquid called carbon bisulfide causes another chemical change. Well, it's marketed as a green product. Is it basically a lie? Yes, it's an extremely interesting poison. The danger comes from the fumes of CS2. To make the cellulose, which will give the viscose its thread-like texture, the wood pulp is immersed in a bath of sulfuric acid. Then CS2 is added. The minute it hits the sulfuric acid, the carbon disulfide leaves the cellulose. Unfortunately, where it leaves the cellulose too is the workroom where the workers are working. It just goes up into the air. In India, in the state of Madhya Pradesh, the city of Nagda is home to the Birla Group's plant. Founded in 1956, it is a town within a town. 5,000 workers work there day and night, and journalists are not welcome.
कपड़े अपने अगर उसमें आठ दिन गए तो छह महीने तक खुशबू नहीं निकलेगी इससे डॉक्टर पोल ब्लॉन्क has listed the problems associated with CS2 eye disease loss of fertility and vascular problems when i did my work on this book i visited the areas in wales where these large factories had been i started to get emails from people and they would say you know my father died at the age of 42 from a heart attack he worked in the factory and we never we never got a penny in Ashok Pawal began working at Birla in 1981. In June 2019, he suffered a heart attack, which he says was job related. Yes, मानते हम कि कंपनी की वजह से हुई मेरे को मेरे को जो अटैक आया है कंपनी की वजह से आया विस्कोस को इकट्ठा करते थे वो फिल्टर करते थे हम विस्कोस को तो उन्होंने क्या आपको काम करने के पहले कोई ट्रेनिंग दी नहीं दी मेरे को डायरेक्ट वहाँ लगा दिया काम करो आप जाओ वो हाथ से काम करना पड़ता था हाथ से फिल्टर करते थे उसके अंदर कपड़ा लगाता था उसको फिल्टर करो आप सी एस टू गैस को नहीं बताया मेरे को नहीं बताया किसी भी अधिकारी ने नहीं बताया कंपनी के अधिकारी ने इसमें काम करने से कोई नुकसान नहीं होगा ऐसा काम मेरे को At the age of 58 he is on unpaid sick leave indefinitely Are there any occupational illnesses related to Berla's activities Berla tells us that their activities have no impact on the health of the workers or residents on the Nagda site It is difficult to verify this as Berla treats their employees in their own hospital Milder cases are referred to the city's public hospital. Dr. Chawla worked in this hospital. For 40 years, this surgeon has been its medical officer. A privileged witness of the omerta that protects Beela. Big diseases they used to attend the their own hospital because management don't want that they should come to in civil hospital because it will be exposed it will be open ab apni jo pollution ke karan se disease paida hoti thi wo cheez ko chupana chahte the until his departure in 2004 dr chola was the medical authority who could have initiated studies on the health of the burla workers but he was not even aware of the existence of the cs2 was there ever in nagda large scale medical study of the workers population no 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 i have not given any such work to do something they don't permit their workers to give any statement which goes against to the factory if they came to know that something is going on in the civil hospital they put a check on the worker ki no don't go there we will treat you in the our hospital un unhone kabhi chance hi nahi diya ki tum kuch likh ke kuch documentation karo kyunki unke to negative point ho jata wo abhishek churasya is one of the rare citizens of nagda to denounce the pollution linked to the factory a law student he filed a complaint against the visco's producer actually they are not allowing the people to come inside the company they are just always hide the all thing in front of the all people nobody can take action against them because they have too much long hand the student's complaint alerts the madhya pradesh state authorities In January 2020, the Pollution Control Agency inspected the Birla factory. The authorities ordered the factory to take action. But above all, for the first time, they demanded a study of the effects of pollution on the health of workers, looking particularly at CS2.
Downstream from the plant, along the Chambal River, 20,000 people live in around 20 villages. Pamakedi is one of these villages, located four kilometers from the plant. For years, the villagers have been claiming more and more health problems. The residents' complaints were finally heard by the authorities. For the first time, doctors were sent to check up on the residents. Among the restless patients was this father who came with his two disabled sons. There are no official statistics. However, many inhabitants show similar symptoms paralysis, joint problems, even loss of speech. In this single family, there are three people who are suffering from physical disability. This girl has been uh, 26 years old. And they both brothers are 23 or 24 years. Actually, they are just physical disabled. And the growth of the body is stopped. And you just see the hair of that girl. She is only 26 years old. At the time of their visit, government doctors counted 209 people with health problems, potentially linked to pollution. For the inhabitants, the number one suspect is Birla. They accuse the plant of having dumped its waste into the river for decades. <laughs> 